Hey Coconuts, it is PK here with a 5.4 update video. Um, I was kind of worried because this is fairly quick after the 5.3 update. I think there's been like a whole month in between the two. However, there's not a lot of stuff that happened with this update and most of it is, is what was needed and really beneficial to all the players. So I am pretty excited about that. Uh, we will start off with, there's we have a new monster. He's a new pet, uh, Cerebus. He is mainly uh, an attack pet because he's gonna. Most of his stats give you a bonus um, upon dragon deployment. He does also increase the troop size, and you can get him in the super pass shop. So come take a look at him in the seven day tab. You can get up to seven of them a week, but they do cost twenty five hundred. Now, they did reset the Super Pass shop when they did the uh, maintenance, the surprise maintenance. So I did get two of them, even though it shows that I didn't purchase any. So I would be able to take uh, advantage of that if I had enough Super Pass tickets, but I don't. But we could take a look. I have a scroll that I have not undone with him yet. He's pretty cool looking. I like him. I'll be excited when I get enough of him to upgrade. We can take a look at him. I'll just come into here. We're going to look at immortal grade pets only. And he should be down here at the bottom. I'm going to enhance him while I have him. But he's got some pretty nice stats. And if you wanted to see his full range of stats, we could take a look in the Pet Codex. And we could see his plus 5, plus 10, plus 15. He's dangerous. I like him. Next up, we also have some new rally research. Rally research. Well, I mean, I guess it is kind of rally research. It's rally defense research in particular. It's some of the newest buffs that we have in the game, which is rally defense while you are defending in your castle. Whereas the other rally defense uh, while defending that is found in this rally tab is specifically for when your troops are in a rally. So like when you're in a sanctuary or in the capital, um, this one is specifically for while you're defending against a rally in your castle. So that is some much, much needed research. Really excited about that. Great job, Net Marble. We also have a bonus here to crafting which is enhancement level expansion. This is to expand your enhancement levels in your level 40 gears, specifically slaughter, outcry, agility, and steel. This is to get them from level 21 up to level 30, and it takes about 2 billion silver to complete. When I was doing my steel earlier, um, unlike the Radiant, thankfully, it doesn't take a lot of pieces to upgrade to 30. Uh, it takes 20 additional pieces, which is two per level. And we could take a look at those set bonuses. Like here in the Slaughter. going to give you some really nice bonuses. Additional infantry attack and HPs. Uh, I think mainly because a lot of people are using their level 40 sets for um, their single type defenses in mixture with the level 60 weapons as well as steel. So I think the main goal of this was to help people with their defenses.
I particularly really like that uh, additional 5% debuff to the preemptive strike. And again, we could also take a look at, I think I have one of my heroes saved. It's set up, I didn't upgrade him, an additional 20. So if I'm going to enhance, 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 yeah, 20 pieces. We also have some new monsters. So we have new monster levels, 46 and 47. Um, the monsters that are coming with them are the Cockatrice, Living Armor, Lava Turtle, and Seder. Those are both the level 46, 47, and their corresponding elites. So that's what the Lava Turtle is going to look like. His CP is 105,493. And the 46, here's the Cockatrice. With his CP, 84,349. They drop speeds, but their elites are going to be dropping these um, chests that are labeled like the satyr monster chest and the living armor monster chest and what those do are they are going to be giving you level 60 gear material chest if you're having difficulty hitting these there's a few things that you can do um, you can use your specific level 60 gear pieces that have the hero attack bonus to them or your radiant plus five or higher also make sure that you're using ice trolls and or mandragoras because those both give you boosts to your hero attack there's your temporary boost which will give you up to 35 percent hero attack bonus there's also hero attack bonuses in your town mode which you can use and uh, don't forget that you also have runes that you can use that'll help. There's Battle of Bravery that'll give you an additional bonus to your hero attack base. And um, if you want to heighten that chance of getting the elite monsters, you can also use your Battle of Challenge, which is going to give you an additional percent to elite monster discovery. So there are a few things that'll help you out with that. Moving on, we have some random house gem boxes. Those are taking place over the premium gem uh, random chests that we were getting previously. I like those because it it's giving you a way to choose which gemstones you rather have. There's heroic, rare, and immortal. I don't have an immortal set because I opened them up earlier. Uh, heroic is going to be choosing between your navigator and your knights. And I just... No, I used the wrong one. Rare is choosing between Navigator and Knights. Heroic is choosing, as we can see here, between uh, Guardian and Draconic. And Immortal is choosing between your Glorious or Lords of Past Glory and Chaotic. And there's a 60% chance of Rare, 30% chance of Heroic. 10% chance of immortal. We've also received some um, UI improvements. There's been improvements to your Dark Moon Sanctuary buffs where you can see easily which sync buffs you are receiving. Um, there's also AP given to the end of the Alliance Raid rewards. There is a plus on your building upgrades. That'll show you where you can obtain anything that you are deficient on. Silver research issue has been restored or fixed. Death worm has been added to the special pet selection chest, as well as a whole plethora of other little things that you may or may not have been experiencing. The big part to this update has been the talus which I'm going to have to port back home. I was not able to find um, 
the monsters to show you guys my kingdom. So I had to port, use my invader magic. So I will port back home here so we could take a look at the talus and uh, what I can tell you about it. It is really new. We have yet to use it in a KVK battle. So um, my information is purely going to be limited to what I was able to decipher through the information the devs gave, which I will be posting that link in the information box down below. But here we are. If you come into your alliance menu, you can see that there is the Talus artifact in the top right. Now, the first time that you select a Talus, you can choose it at any point in time, but after you make that first selection, it will only be choosable every Thursday from reset to next daily reset. So all day Thursday Pacific Standard Time. To qualify for choosing a Talus, you have to have at least 10 members and a power of 100 billion or higher. Leadership, your R4 Plus are able to select and change the Talus. Uh, once you do select that Talus, you have an eight hour cool cool down before you can select the next one. And you can select any artifact that is under 35%. So you can see here like this 35%, that 35%, and this one are all in red. So we would not be able to choose that if we wanted to. Um, however, we can choose any of these. And that's based off of kingdom power, that percentage. Talus Saints have leverage, which is applicable during KVK events. Now, um, the description for it on the website or in the forum says during KVK events. However, in-game, it specifically says that it's only applied in Blood Moon. So I'm guessing for now that is the only KVK type event where it is applicable. If you take a look here, it shows you that the blue arrows are what that specific talus is weak against. And the red arrows are what that talus is strong against. You can earn points. There is a daily limit or cap. And as you earn points, your talus will actually level up. You receive points daily. You also receive points by f finishing your uh, final daily quest. And then, of course, the KVK battles themselves. Uh, solo points as well as with rallying. Now, daily points that have been received through other Talus artifacts other than the one that you have will reset daily. And that's... I. It says there's 10,000 that'll be reset, so I'm assuming that that's the daily cap. However, any points that have been earned for your own talus will remain. If you change your talus, 50,000 of your points will expire. And if that means that talus has to level down because of it, then that's what it means. One of Talus's level, Divine Grace, is unlocked. These are the same for all Taluses. So you, I'm not sure if they uh, stack. So, like, if you achieve all of these with, you know, Aegis, and then you go over to uh, Chalice, if you can stack them, I don't know. I assume it's you only receive them on the um, Talus or artifact that you are in possession of. But you can put into these much like you do with your research. And then there is a ranking, which you can check out. all I really know about the taluses. Again, this is what has been posted in the forum. We've yet to really use them. Um, 
this coming blood moon will be a great way. So maybe I'll do another video just specifically on these talus artifacts. I kind of figure out what we are doing with them. Um, you know, with the leverage, I really don't know how that works. So is, is it, does it mean like the point leverage? Does it mean that your attack is actually leveraged? Um, like, I have no, no clue. So we will find out together on that. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and that you have enjoyed this update. A lot of great things for players, especially with defense. Like, share, check out our website at www.ironthroneelite.com. And until next time.